Welcome back everyone. After a long deserved break, I am ready. And I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. His brother gave him his password and obviously his brother is Charles. Um Oh wait, no, that's B Meal. Oh damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Charles doesn't get a lot of emails, it seems. There's just a bunch of names in his inbox. Frank Lyons, John Goldwater, Claude Erden. Joey, look at this. It's like a hit list of everyone who was killed by the Countess. So Charlie was writing about each of the victims. I knew there was something fishy about that place. Come on, let's go back there and talk to him. What on earth do we say? Think of something, kid. History is repeating itself, and I don't... What was that? It looks like his inbox is being updated. Oh. Receiving email. What? Oh, shit. My name. That's my name. That son of a... Mess with us, Willie. He just marked me. I'm next. Look, don't worry. She might not come right away. We have time to plan. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, that wasn't fun. You, you killed Claude and the others. I did not kill. I healed them. Cannon, we've heard this song before. Just back away, real slow like. I only want to help. I think we've had about enough of your help, lady. Back off, kid. I'm ready this time. I have to help her. Just let me help her. Oh, yeah? Help yourself to this. Oh! Go! Wait, Jerry! What? What? Get away from him. Kid, she's here to kill you. I can handle her. Just make yourself scarce. What? No! Do the- I'm doing all I can! I'm- Joey, are you all right? Just what? peachy. Get out of here, will ya? There, ha there has to be something like. Get away from him, kid. She's here to kill you. I can handle her. Just make. All right, fine. Well, but I can't leave far from Joey. That's like a rule. Come on, come on, come on! Stupid elevator. Must be stuck a few floors down. Wow. Come on. Must be stuck a. Really? Uh, oh, no, you can I, go. D I can't move any further. Really? Whatever keeps Joey near me also works both ways. Nishanti? She's not in. Not that it matters. She wouldn't be able to protect me from a ghost anyway. The trash room? Yes! Okay, let's go! <laughs> Where is she? She isn't far. I can sense her. You think I'm telling you? Where? Well, I know for sure she's not through that door behind you. Come on, come on, come on! Stupid elevate must be No place to go. I can't run away unless Joey comes with me, and Joey's the only thing holding her back. Come on, Rosa. Auntie did it 30 years ago, so can you. What? Oh, uh, is Aunt Laura going to come and help me? <sighs> I wish you were here, Auntie. I really do. Ah, uh, <laughs> come on! That's far enough, sister. Joey, leave it. Leave it? Like hell. But what the- Where's the picture? Oh, wait! Auntie's picture fell off the wall. I'll hang it back later. Assuming what? there is a later. <laughs> no, Auntie's picture- no. 
I wanted to look at Can I Hey, look at this. Who that's I wanted to help her. And look where it got you. You think anyone appreciates your help? No. No! no! Okay. How... How did we end up here? I have brought you here. You are safe now. I have saved you. Saved me? What do you mean, saved me? What did you do? Joey, did she kill me? Am I dead? I... I don't know. Lady, I suggest you start talking. There is nothing to say. You are safe now, both of you. My dear, you carry on so. You. It's you. I've been looking for you for so long. That's us for a guy? Me? My poor host, you cast me out. You broke our bond. It's too late to repair it. What? No, why would I do that? Your mind is so broken that you do not remember. My, my, you are a mess. You don't even know your own name, Countess, indeed. Regardless, it is time for this to end. End? Is there an end? For you, there can be, if you let me. I trust you, Madeline. I always will trust you. Rose Angela Blackwell, Joseph Malone, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm sorry it had to be under such unpleasant circumstances. Unpleasant is right. Who are you? My name is Madeline, and a long time ago, I was this poor soul's spirit guide. She corrupted our bond, and I'm afraid the damage to both of us was quite severe. Can you help us? Can you help us end this cycle of death? Who are you? As I said, my name is Madeline, and a long time ago, I was a spirit guide to the woman you know as the Countess. We were bonded, much like you and your guide are, but much has changed, and time is short. Will you help us? We've got some questions first. Yes, I'm sure you do, but time is short. Will you help us? I know you. I have been trying to reach you in your dreams. At long last, I am able to manifest myself here. But time is short. Will you help us? Ah, jeez, yes, alright. Yes, I'll help uh, you. Uh, well, I don't uh, have much choice. Okay. She's killed me. Killed you? No! She left you quite unharmed. But regardless, there is no time to waste. Come with me. Now just relax. Where are we going? Hey, what's the big idea? Ah, ah. Alright, you. Talk. Where are they? The pattern. They're going to fix the pattern. Talk sense, will ya? The source. Cut off the source and the pattern will revert. Why do I bother? Oh, is this gonna be some Wait. big puzzle? Trapped on another plane of existence with the Countess of Crazyville. They better know what they're doing. What? Oh, is this her thingy? Hey, what happened? How did you do that? This is where the link originates. Link? The bond between your countess and her hosts. Part of her is trapped here. You must remove it. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh. This is for getting so weird. Time, I have no money for your fund. Show some pity. At least lend us a cigarette. Ahem. I believe we got company. Ah. Miss, could you perhaps spare a few dollars for the Joe Gould Fund? You! <sighs> Joseph Mitchell? What's going on here? <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is Joseph Ferdinand Gould. I am graduate of Harvard Magna Cum Difficultate and chairman of the board of Wheel and Woe Incorporated. In exchange for a drink, I'll recite a poem, deliver a lecture, argue a point, or take off my shoes and imitate a seagull. I prefer gin, but beer will do. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. My reputation precedes me. 
I saw your portrait in the Mineta. The Mineta, yes. I'm quite famous there, you know. I gathered. It's all thanks to Mitchell, of course. The Joe Ghoul Fund filled its coffers nicely when he wrote his article. What are you doing here? I don't quite know myself. We've all got to be someplace. As I understand it, I was mentally linked to my old friend, the Countess. I wish I'd known. It explains everything that my work was trying to prove. Your work? I have had many callings. I studied the seagulls of the world and learned their language. I spent months measuring the heads of 1,000 Chippewa Indians. But before I died, I was putting to paper the most important literary work known to man, the oral history of our time. It was a compilation of the conversations of the city, overheard in bars, subways, street corners, and diners. Put together and studied properly, it would have revolutionized everything. How did you know the Countess? We met in a diner like this one. We'd often spend a week or two walking along the docks to discuss seagulls. She uh, had many huh. interesting theories on seagull linguistics. And uh, one day, she disappeared. But a link had already formed between us. It's everything my oral history was trying to prove. That we are all linked. The Countess is killing people. Murder? No. No, I refuse to believe that. She couldn't turn a fly. Why is she called the Countess? That's what she chooses to call herself. Far be it for me to tell her otherwise. The name doesn't seem strange to you? When you lived a life like mine, you take people at face value. Who cares about names? I once knew another fellow without a name. Called himself the Deacon. Ah. Uh. The Deacon? You knew the Deacon? Oh yes, he was this gloomy career drunk. One summer night while sitting in a doorway of the Bowery, he caught the scent of sulfur. He looked up and saw the devil himself standing over him. Since that night he believed he lost his soul. Not the most charitable drinking companion, if I may say so. Well, he's in hell now. No, he wouldn't be. You knew him? Sort of. Fancy that. What's your connection to Joseph Mitchell? He wrote ah, about him. Mitchell, my benefactor. He made me quite famous, you know. But my goodwill only extends so far. Why is that? A cigarette. He has them. He won't give me one. It's demeaning to have to beg for one meaty cigarette. I'd like to read the oral history. And I'd like you to, but I'm afraid it belongs to the ages now. There was also the problem of it never existing in the first place. Of course it existed, only not on paper. It was over three million words, three times the size of the Holy Bible. The work transcended mere parchment and ink. What about those essays you published in the Dial? A passing fancy, nothing more. You wrote essays? For the now defunct Dial magazine. I still have the originals. Do you want to see? I'd like to see that essay. Here you go. It appears to be an essay about insanity, but the handwriting is so awful I can barely make it out. Just as well. I don't have time to read all this stuff. This handwriting... I don't... Here you go. Always glad to share. Mr. Gould? She returns. Say, can you spare a few dollars for the Joe Gould Fund? I'm afraid I'm a little short. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh. Alright everyone, I'm gonna cut off here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.